Hello students, how are you all? I hope so, you all are fine and staying at your home with your families. I, Rashmi Chabaria, HRT of K2, again back to you with another interesting topic. Today, we are going to learn about uses and sources of water. Students, do you know what are uses and what are sources of water and what importance does water hold in our lives? Today, let's learn about all these topics. First, we will learn about uses of water and in which activities we use water. First of all, we are going to learn about uses of water. Let's see in which activities we use water. Drinking, brushing, bathing, cooking, washing clothes, growing plants, putting out fire, building homes and cleaning. So students, we learned about uses of water. But do you know where does the water comes from? What are its sources? Where does we get water from? Let's learn about it. Water comes from rain. Rain is a basic source of water. It is important source. Without rain, human beings can't get water and animals and plants also become thirsty and die without rain. So, rain is the main source of water. But, do we directly drink rain water? No, we can't drink rain water directly because it is impure and causes disease to the human beings and human beings fall ill. So, now let's see other sources of water. Well, Pond, waterfall, river, lake and sea. But students, do we drink water from these sources? No, we can't drink water from these sources also because water from these sources when comes directly to our home, it will get impure and cause disease. So, water needs to get purified. But, how does this water get purified? Animals and birds can drink water directly from the sources. But human beings need to drink purified water. Water gets purified through big pipes. They are attached with the waterfalls, ponds, lakes and comes to our home. But through which source it comes and through which we get water at our homes? Let's learn about another source. That source is tap. Yes, we use and drink water from tap. Water gets purified and comes in our homes through tap. And finally, we can use water from the source called tap. Students, I hope so. You might have been cleared with the topic sources and uses. But remember that water is an important part of our life. We should not waste water. We must try to save more and more water for our next generation. So, no one can live without water and no one can survive without water. Thank you.